Okay. Hopefully y'all can see me. I can't see me right now. But I wanted to read you this. Matthew. Matthew 7. 1, 5. Uh, sorry. Matthew 7. 15 to 20. King James Version. Be aware of false prophets. Which comes to you in sheep clothing. But in a woundly they are reverend wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruit. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of trussels? I think that's th those. I don't know. Please forgive my reading, guys. Um, even so, every good tree bears forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree bears forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree um, that brightens not forth good fruit. Or bringeth not forth good fruit in something down and cast into the fire. Whether for by their fruit ye shall know them. Okay, guys, sorry, I'm back. I did that little video because um, I'm here by myself in the home. Um, and, um, so I didn't have Gary here to do it with me. I read that and you know This video is merely my opinion. And for my opinion, I probably would get in trouble for it. I probably get yelled at. Probably would get talked about. I don't care, but this is my truth. My truth is my truth. Me and Gary had a conversation yesterday. And if you've seen my video, see I did one earlier, and I'll probably upload this one also today, the 22nd um, of August 2019. Um, I was looking at I think it was Ring of Fire when Farron was talking about when Bernie Sanders went and delivered eighteen pizzas to the eight to the miners that's been um on strike for eighteen days. Um and so he delivered eighteen pizzas, you know representing um a pizza like one pizza for every day if they've been striking but um and I was like you know that's very nice and you know and Farron was like yeah you know and if you want to know about Bernie you know he's been doing this since you know the 70s and I was like, yeah, yeah, Bernie, which I think right now in the race, I would probably be a Bernie supporter, um, like 90%, only because 
he putting his money where his mouth is. He's putting his your money where his mouth is. Meaning, he's saying that um, equality in the works or not equality. Um, the um, that people should get paid by wages. And instead of just saying that, he's actually striking with the people who's going to court. That's what I mean. I don't mean his physical dollars. I mean, what he's saying, he's backing it. Like Beyonce said in Ego. He got a big ego. You know. He, You know, he could back it up. Anyhow. Um... But that ain't, I'm not meaning it in that way. I'm just saying, what he's saying is, he's, he's not just saying, oh, minimum wage should be $18 an hour. He's saying, okay, it should be $18 an hour. Here's why. And we're going to fight. And that's including him on the front lines to get these people, um, Eighteen dollars an hour. So when I when I seen Farron's um, ring of fire um, thing of him talk about Bernie Sanders, my thing was I was like yeah yeah yeah, and then I was like wait because like I said in my other video, I refer I reference everything back to the Bible two left behind trilogies Kirk Cameron version two um the seventh sign with the mean more in it um and so when I um when I did that I was like is Nikolai Nikolai was a good guy. And if y'all know who Nikolai is, Nikolai was um, the name of the Antichrist in the Left Behind trilogies. Um, that's who he was. That was his name. And, um, but in, you know, in the movies, you know, he was a nice guy, and I don't remember, I wish that I could find him. I've been looking for a free version on uh, Facebook, not Facebook, uh, on Google Play Store. What it, it's like um, a movie, it's an app where you can... I forgot what the app was called, but I got it off of Google Play Store, where you can look uh, for old um, or older videos. And I mean, it's an older, it's an older video. It's a, but it's a Christian video, and um, so I was looking for it because I have the physical copy of Left Behind, all three movies. Um, that I got in 07, um, when I very first met Gary, which I heard about the first movie, but I didn't get it because when I was like seven or eight, I think I was like seven or eight, um, they showed, I don't even remember what that movie was called. It was a movie that they, uh, they showed and it was like people burning in hell. And I was like scarred. So when I knew, when I heard about Kirk Cameron left behind, it's about the uh, end days of Revelation. I was like, I'm scarred. I can't. Um, I don't like. I I'm not mentally ready for that movie. And then when I watched it, it was very eye opening. Like, it, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I'm now seeing clear for the first time. It was just like, like, 
it wasn't scary like that first movie, but it's like, it's made me be like, okay, keep up the good fight. You know, don't let anything, don't let anybody basically um, get you off your path of, of God. And, um, that's what that video, I mean, that's what that movie did for me. Um, so, me saying all that, I was afraid that it's Bernie Sanders, Nicole. Because everybody is, well, not everybody, a lot of people were singing his praises, and that's what happened to Nicole. So I was like, I don't want to be, you know, a, you know, I, I'm not wanting to be following him and then he be the evil one that I am fighting against. And I'm not saying Bernie Sanders is evil. That's not even where this is going. I'm just saying I got like, whoa. So I asked Gary, and you know, and I was like, can you refresh my brain? Um, and Gary said he don't, he don't think, but we still think it, and, and we, he was like, but, you know, it could still be, you know, Barron, it could still be Kushner, it could still be Trump. So I was like, yeah, I'm thinking Barron is the omen, and his mother was a jackal. Which was, and he's the son of a B.I.T. C. No, H. Um, and if we look at Melania, she's not too nice. Just saying. So then, so that's what me and Gary were saying. Well, not even an hour after that is when... Across the whole internet, when I seen that Trump is the second coming of Jesus, of God, they said, second coming of God, I said, Gary, and I called him because he was downstairs, I said, Gary, I sent you a video, I need you to watch it. It's very scary. He watched it. He goes, oh my. You know, we were just talking about that. I said, I know. I know. I said, I guess, you know, God was sending me a little message saying, no, it's not Bernie. It is Trump. You were right. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. So that's why I read that. Because I don't want anybody to be worshipping this man because that is a sin. Now, I have watched a couple of different things. And people, you know, everybody has different religious beliefs. And, you know, like I said, if my religious beliefs are wrong, that's something i got to deal with when God comes, when Jesus comes back for me, because I believe that Jesus is coming back for me, I know a lot of people don't think, um, that he is the true Messiah, that he is the Lord and Savior of the Christian nation, I do, now, with that said, what I am against is for all of these Christians and I use that very lightly because I don't even like even calling them that but for all these Christians to condemn anybody because what I heard and how I understand it and how I feel as a Christian person, as a Christian woman, as somebody 
that is in I was gonna say in the presence of God. Well not the presence of God. That is in uh, is that is in the love in the family of God. We don't judge anybody, we don't condemn anybody that is not our place. Our place is to love. Our place is to be a helper and not a hinderer. I'm probably not even, it's not coming out the way that I want it to come out. Long story short. My Lord Jesus, my Lord and Savior, my Alpha, my Omega, my beginning and my end is coming back very soon. And yes, I said coming back because that's what I believe. I think he's coming back. He's getting his true believers. He is coming back for us because the reign of Satan is almost over and the fight is about to begin because how dare this man how and that's all he is he's not a god he's a man a simple man flesh and blood like the rest of us he's no god he's no better than any one of us how dare he be a false prophet how dare he claim and i know he technically did not claim to be the one and true messiah somebody said that but he did not denounce it and if he is a true religious person i might even say christian religious person he will know you do not worship false gods false idols money he washes up he washes up himself he washes up popularity everything except the one true thing that he should be worshiping and that is God that is Jesus the Lord and Savior of us all that is who should be getting all the praise that is who should be getting everything that we have in our body not him because he is flesh and bone like us. No better. No worse. Well, maybe a little bit worse. Because my big old motto is, if you know better, do better. Well, he knows better. And he refuses to do better. So, yes, you're a little worse than, than some of us. But you're definitely no better than any of us. And definitely not my God. My God. My Lord. My Savior. Jesus Christ. Who died on the cross for me. That is who the king of the Jews are. That's who he is. Not you. Not you. 